Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Super Robot Chogokin J. Decker. J. Decker comes from the 1994 show Brave Police J. Decker. A young boy named Yuta discovers Deckard, a crime-fighting robot built by the Japanese police. Yuta soon forms a special bond with Deckard, advancing his AI and giving him a heart. Due to their special bond, Yuta is recruited by the Japanese police to become the boss of the Brave Police. When times get tough, Yuta gives the command to Brave Up. Decker combines with the support vehicle J Rotor to form the mighty J Decker. Together with the Brave Police Force, Yuta and Deckard fight crime, keeping Nanamagari City safe. Be sure to check out the 1994 show Brave Police J Decker, it's a great show! Super Robot Chogokin J Decker is another fantastic release in the Super Robot Chogokin line. J Decker has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at J Decker himself. J Decker has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. Also, we can pull out the shoulder joint. To further support this movement, you'll notice the side accents on the front of the chest. They are actually articulated can move forward, so now when we pull the shoulder joint out, J. Decker can truly and fully reach across his chest. The shoulders can rotate a full 360 degrees. The shoulder pads are on their own joints. The arms can come up 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joints, we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward and backward. Furthermore, we can actually pull up on the upper chest and now we can lean a little bit more forward and a little bit more backward. Spinning around to the back to the jetpack, the wings can move forward and back quite a bit. Moving out to the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. Moving down to the legs, each of the skirt pieces are on their own joints so the leg movement is not hindered. In the legs, we can kick forward this much, backwards this much and come out to the side this much. Also in the hip joints, we can actually pull them down, increasing the range of motion in the legs. We have a thigh swivel. Moving out to the knees, we have very nice double jointed knees. And something that's very cool, just like our Mike Gain figure, as you bend the knees, you'll see the thigh panel here sliding forward and back, which is definitely very cool. Some nice engineering going on there. Moving down to the feet, the feet can tilt and swivel. And then furthermore, we can pull down on the ankle joint, increasing the range of motion in the feet. J Decker has a good amount of die cast content giving him a very solid feel. Here are the die cast parts from what I can tell. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, J. Decker is fantastic. Starting from the top, we have J. Decker's head. J. Decker's head has a fantastic robotic sculpt with white and glossy black paint apps. At the top of the head, we have two translucent red light bars. In the center of the forehead, we have an angular metallic gold accent. The eyes have a nice emerald green paint app. At the base of the chin, we have a nice red accent. Moving down, we have J. Decker's massive chest. The chest has white and glossy black paint apps with very nice panel lines. In the center of the chest, we have the Bray Police logo with metallic gold and glossy black paint apps. Moving out to the shoulders, at the top we have two large translucent red angular light bars. The shoulder pads have a nice large sculpt with white, navy blue, and glossy black paint apps. Spin around to the back we have J Decker's jetpack. The jetpack has a great robotic sculpt with white, glossy black, blue, and gunmetal paint apps on the vents. The arms have a nice robotic sculpt with a white paint app and a glossy black paint app around the wrist guards. The rest of J. Decker's body has a fantastic robotic sculpt consisting of J. Decker's signature color pattern of white, glossy black, red, and metallic gold. As a whole, J. Decker is absolutely fantastic. J. Decker is fully poseable, the sculpted paint apps are very well done, and there is a good amount of die cast content. Just like Mike Gain, J. Decker is another older Super Robot Chogokin release that holds up very well with our newer Super Robot Chogokin figures. 
Now, let's take a look at the accessories. J-Decker comes with seven hands, one stun stick, two J-Busters, and one accessory stand piece. First, let's check out the hands. J-Decker comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of holding hands, a pair of J-Buster holding hands, and one pointing hand. Each of the hands have a fantastic robotic sculpt with a gunmetal paint app. The hands attach via ball joints. When removing the hands, hold close to the wrist joint so the pressure is on the hand and not the wrist joint itself. Once you remove the fists, attach the desired pair of hands to match your favorite dynamic pose. Next, we have the two J-Busters. We have the J-Buster in gun mode and the J-Buster in rifle mode. Both the Busters have a fantastic angular sculpt with gunmetal, metallic gold, and red paint apps. Both of the J-Busters are held very firmly by the J-Buster holding hands. Now, with the J-Busters in hand, J-Decker can blast his foes. Next, we have the Stun Stick. The Stun Stick has a great multi-segmented sculpt with a dark gunmetal paint app on the handle and a silver paint app for the body. The Stun Stick is held very firmly by the holding hands. Now, with the Stun Stick in hand, Jay Decker can bash his foes. Finally, we have the accessory stand piece. To attach, simply clip it onto Jay Decker's underside. Now, with the help of the accessory stand piece, Jay Decker can take to the skies. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. To conclude the review, Super Robot Shigoken J Decker is another fantastic release in the Super Robot Shigoken line. J Decker has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend this figure. J Decker is an older Super Robot Shigoken release that should be easy to find and fairly cheap. Be sure to check out the 1994 show, Brave Police J. Decker. It's a great show. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more Super Robot Shogoku reviews, click the link on screen. Be sure to like the Facebook fan page, add me on Jimmer, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe.